homemade Nutella stuffed marshmallows. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo max 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is take a cookie sheet covered with a silicone mat or waxed paper or parchment paper. And on top of that, place 12 little half teaspoon dollops of Nutella. Then take the cookie sheet and put it in the freezer for about an hour until those Nutella dollops are frozen solid. Now for the coating you're gonna need for the marshmallows in a medium sized bowl, combine a half a cup of cornstarch and three quarters of a cup of confectioner sugar, also called icing sugar or powdered sugar, and whisk those things together. And then set that aside for later. Now in a small bowl, place half a cup of cold water and then sprinkle four and a half teaspoons or two envelopes worth of unflavored gelatin on top of the water. Give that a gentle whisking and then just let it sit there for about five minutes. After five minutes, the gelatin will have softened and will have absorbed some of the water, as you can see here. Then take that bowl, put it in the microwave on high for about 35 seconds. And what will happen is it will dissolve the gelatin. It'll become a lot more liquid. Pour that into a bowl of a stand mixer. And you're also going to add one quarter cup of light corn syrup at this point. Attach the whisk attachment to the mixer and set it to mixing on low. Now while that's mixing, you're going to make the other part of the recipe. In a medium sized saucepan, place three quarters of a cup of sugar a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of corn syrup. And this is the light corn syrup. Stir it over medium high heat until it starts to boil. Stir pretty much continuously, but once it starts to boil, you don't have to stir it anymore. Continue to cook it until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the soft ball stage. Now I had to tilt the pan a little bit because I used a big pan and I couldn't get the thermometer into the syrup. It takes about five minutes or so to get the syrup to the right temperature, and you'll actually see it start to change color a little bit. It starts to get a little bit yellow. Now I encourage you to go out and buy a candy thermometer if you don't have one, because it really comes in handy with candy making. But if you don't have one, you can cook this until you reach the soft ball stage. And I'll put a link in the description box so that you can look at a website that shows you photos of what this actually looks like. So once it's at the right temperature, pull it off the stove and then slowly start to drizzle it into the mixing bowl. Once you're done pouring the syrup, I encourage you to take that pot and put it into some hot soapy water right away. It'll be a lot easier to clean up. Now turn your mixer up to medium high and let it mix for five minutes. After five minutes, increase the mixer speed and continue to beat for another five minutes after that. And during the last minute, you're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. After the 10 minutes of beating is up and you stop your mixer, the texture you're going to get is still a fluid. You can see it flowing off of the whisk attachment and it'll make kind of like very, very soft peaks. Now you need to transfer your mixture into a piping bag if you want to do that. Uh, you could also use a Ziploc bag that's had the corner cut off. So I filled up the bag and then I prepared a muffin tin by just lightly spraying it with some cooking spray. And then I piped in just enough of the marshmallow to cover the bottom of the pan. And this mixture makes enough for about 12 pretty large marshmallows. Now take some of those frozen Nutella dollops that you made at the beginning and just place one on top of each of the portions of marshmallow. And then you're gonna just cover them up with more marshmallow. Now these are quite large. You could actually make a miniature version of these by using mini muffin tins as well if you want them a little bit smaller. So once you're done with the filling, you can level it off if you like, but I kind of like the little swirl pattern that it made. Take some of that coating mix that you made at the beginning of this video and put it in a sifter and just sprinkle it on top of each of the little marshmallows. Then you're gonna let this sit 
for about three hours until they are completely set. And this is done at room temperature. Now to, to take them out, just loosen the edge with a knife. And because you greased the muffin tin, they should pop out very easily. Now you'll notice the bottom and the sides are gonna be quite sticky. And so take that coating mix that you made and just drop the marshmallows in there and just roll them around until they're completely coated. Now the amount of mixture that we made here is, is quite a bit and it's probably good for a couple of batches of marshmallows. And as you can see, they're quite pliable. They're soft and fluffy like a cloud. So I'm gonna cut one in half so you can see inside. And there is the lovely little Nutella dollop that now is defrosted and is nice and soft. Now, if you've never tasted a homemade marshmallow before, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. These are way, way superior to the ones you can buy at the store. They are delicious. Now, if you don't want to use Nutella in the center, you most certainly can use chocolate ganache. And I will provide a recipe in the about section below if you're interested in using that instead. I found this recipe in a fantastic book called Marshmallow Madness by Shauna Seaver. I really enjoy candy making and if there's a particular kind of candy that you'd like to see me try on my channel, please let me know in the comment section. And I've added this particular video to my candy making playlist. If you want to see those videos, go ahead and click right on your screen or see the link in the about section below. Bye bye and thanks for watching.